Oh, snap! EV prices have just dropped by 50%. The biggest EV market crash of our lifetime has just begun, causing more than 400 companies to go bankrupt. People are abandoning their EVs in graveyards, while companies are demanding $6,000 for insurance premiums and more than $40,000 just to repair the EV. The middle class is finally seen through the hype. Politicians haven't really told us why they've been forcing EVs upon us, but in this video, I'm gonna expose the reality. Why are EV prices dropping suddenly? And what's with companies like Ford, GM, Jeep, and even Tesla abandoning their plans to make more EVs? Are gas cars gonna make a comeback? The EV market is heading towards a big disaster and something just happened which made things even worse. Those who have already got an EV cannot save themselves, but you can. Listen carefully. Up until 2022, EVs were selling like crazy. Everyone wanted a piece of the pie, so they were buying stocks of companies like Rivian, Lucid, Xpeng, and Tesla. But now, the same stocks are down by 90%. Even Tesla stock lost 22% of its value over the past month. The situation gets even scarier when you see prices of electric cars going down by 50% in just one year. Earlier last year, Audi launched their e-tron RS model to go up against the Tesla Model X, priced at nearly $90,000. Fast forward to now and my how the tables have turned. Imagine being able to snag a used Audi e-tron for the same price of a well-equipped Chevy Bolt EUV. Yes, you heard me right. We're talking about e-trons floating around on TrueCar for between $30,000 to $35,000. $5,000. That is a massive steep dive from their original price, with some of these luxury EVs shedding more than 60% of their value. And the cherry on top of the ice cream sundae? Some of these deals still come with a bit of the basic warranty left. Speaking of the Chevy Bolt, General Motors and their EVs are also going through a crisis. You'd pay about $32,000 for a new Bolt EV two years ago, but now the same car is going for under $14,000. Tesla's Model 3 is going for a meager $30,000 to $33,000 just after 10 months, which is a shocking drop from a car that's practically new. Elon Musk has even had to offer a huge price drop of nearly $18,500 on the all-wheel Plaid model, along with a $13,500 reduction on the Model S. Their introductory model, the Model X, is also $18,000 cheaper than before. So EVs are losing their value like crazy while the prices still keep coming down. That's gotta be good news for us, right? Well, while some are happy, there is a bigger picture that no one will tell you about. There's a pretty shocking reason why EV prices are dropping, and it's not just because car makers decided to be generous. Before we talk about how even Tesla is facing an existential crisis, and how General Motors could literally close their doors due to EVs, let's take a look at how sales have been after these massive price drops. One would think people would flock to buy these models like crazy, but in reality, more than 90,000 new EVs are lying unsold in dealer lots. More than 60% of car dealers have an EV supply, going far beyond three months, and now many of them are saying that they don't even want to sell EVs. The situation is the worst for Ford, with nearly 60% of their dealers going against electric cars and refusing to sell. Ford CEO Jim Farley first asked dealers to invest a whopping $300,000 just to make their dealership EV compatible. And when they denied saying EVs aren't selling, Ford suffered huge losses. With only 1,500 out of 4,000 dealers now selling electric, Ford lost $4 billion on their EV business, effectively selling each car at a huge loss of $36,000. They might as well give you a new car along with your new car. In 2023, General Motors delivered about 75,000 EVs, which was only 2.9% of their total sales. Earlier in 2022, their CEO Mary Barra did something horrifying when she lied to investors about making 1 million electric vehicles by 2024. Now seeing the terrible market, GM has reduced their forecast to 400,000 EVs. As per Cox Automotive, EV sales only made up 7.9% of the total sales in the US. GM is now almost on the verge of bankruptcy, but Biden saved them with massive loans. Ironically, this seems in line with the predictions of the ex-CEO of Toyota, Akio Toyota, who said EVs will only have a 30% market share because they're not practical or affordable. He was let go from his company due to his honesty, but now everyone's realizing that the Toyota CEO was right all along. Now let's discuss the why of EVs not selling. Apart from the huge price, car makers and the government have made three massive mistakes that could lead to the end of EVs forever. In a minute, I'll also tell you how EVs cost double of what they're actually being sold at. The common man should know about these three big shocks that the Biden administration has been keeping hidden for so long. 
According to Row Motion, a data analytics company that's all about EVs and energy transitions, the price for electric cars in the US is expected to dip below those in Europe. We're talking about the average base cost of the best-selling EVs in the USA falling from $60,000 to a more wallet-friendly $44,000. The crash is even worse in China, where the average MSRP of an EV is shocking at $20,000. It all started with Tesla slashing their prices, causing a domino effect across the industry. Other manufacturers had to pause production to keep their profits from going into freefall because, let's face it, the margins on EVs were already tighter since they had to invest in factories and new technology just to make these dang things. Ford and GM now even have to stop their productions for a while since they can't afford any more losses. Ford has now stopped production of the F-150 Lightning EV, while GM has postponed the launch of the new Silverado EV models. There's another big problem too, battery prices. They're expected to drop nearly 40% between now and 2025. This is huge because batteries are a big chunk of an EV's cost. Lower battery prices means cheaper EVs, but the problem lies in the quality of these batteries. Another report by Cox Automotive came out, which is basically a tool that measures how car dealers are feeling about the market. Imagine it as the mood ring of the auto industry. Recently, it's been showing that dealers are feeling kind of blue. The index was sitting at 45 out of 100, which is like saying more dealers think the market's not doing so hot than those who think it's all rainbows and unicorns. This number has been low for five quarters straight. But wait, there's more to the story. The dealers are split into two camps. The franchise dealers think your big brand car sellers and independent dealers, your local standalone car shops, Franchise dealers are still somewhat optimistic, scoring the current market at 57%, which is a tiny bit up from last quarter. However, the independent dealers are simply not feeling it. 4,000 of them even sent a letter to Joe Biden a few months ago demanding the stop to the EV push because no one wants to buy them. Interest rates are also going up, which means people will have higher monthly payments, but with the market crashing so bad, your best bet would be to wait it out until the situation gets better. Now let's uncover three hidden charges of electric vehicles that no one told you about. First is what everyone is calling the insurance nightmare. Tell me in the comments below, would you pay $6,000 a year just to insure your car when it already cost you a fortune up front? We're talking about quotes going up by almost 300% and some insurance companies are just saying, no way, man, we're not covering EVs anymore. Imagine that. On average, in the States, car insurance for an EV is hovering around $337 per month. Yes, rewind it, you heard me right. That's a fair amount more than what you'd pay insuring a traditional gas guzzler. And if you thought all EVs are created equal in the eyes of insurance, well, think again. The most expensive kiddo on the block to insure? The Tesla Model X. The insurance for this bad boy can reach up to $522 per month or nearly $6,000 per year. But why exactly is that? That's because EVs are simply expensive to repair. Let's start with a real head scratcher that's got a lot of EV owners scratching their heads in disbelief. Imagine your shiny EV gets a little tiny scratch on its battery casing. That's no biggie, right? Wrong. Some insurers and repair shops are treating these minor scuffs like the car's got one tire in the grave. We're talking about turning a $1,000 repair job into a $15,000 ordeal. And in some cases, they're even saying, nah, let's just scrap the whole car due to a scratch because the battery pack at the bottom got damaged. Now, why are these repairs costing an arm and a leg and your firstborn? A big part of the problem is a lack of know-how. Many repair shops are still on a learning curve with EVs and manufacturer guidelines on battery repairs can be as clear as mud. Plus, getting your hands on parts can be tougher since we rely on China for 80% of our supplies. Replacing an EV battery can set you back anywhere from $7,000 to nearly $50,000. So if you decide to keep your car for long, you'll have to spend this much money anyway, which could offset all those savings you made on fuel. In China, there were more than 500 EV companies in 2021, and now that number has dropped to just 100, with only three companies actually making a profit. The price war and competition is truly brutal. And with people going against electric cars, the car makers are now going back to gas cars. With so many EVs rotting in graveyards, we are wasting a lot of essential minerals like nickel, lithium, and cobalt. And don't even get me started on the terrible conditions these minerals are mined that includes child labor and poor conditions. 
Joe Biden first gave money to brands like GM and Ford, but now, seeing the true condition of the market, even he's going back on his word, and all car makers are going back to making gas cars. The government made all these strict emission norms, making it difficult for people to buy gas cars. But now that everyone knows EVs are not for everyone, the government finally lost its voice to the common man. Gas cars should not be banned. The government has no right to force us. People should pick what they want to drive, and if this doesn't happen, the market crash will only get worse. What do you think? Will EVs ever be affordable? Are you planning to buy an EV? Let me know down in the comments below. I just uploaded a video about groundbreaking news that could hurt the entire EV industry. Do go ahead and check it out if you want to be truly shocked by what's about to happen with EVs.